Welcome to your 30 minute power vinyasa yoga flow. My name is Natalie and today I have a wonderful and energizing yoga practice for you, which is going to stretch and strengthen your entire body, stimulate your digestive system and release stress at the same time. So when you're ready, come into an upright seated position with your hands on your knees or your palms facing up. Inhale deeply here and roll your shoulders to your ears and then relax them all the way down. Rooting down through your sit bones, but keep your spine nice and straight. And now start to close your eyes and allow yourself to go within. Bring all of your awareness to your breath. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, allow yourself to let go of anything that is no longer serving you. You can also take a moment here to set an intention for this practice if you want to. Whatever it is, just take a few deep breaths here and arrive in the present moment. And then take one more deep breath here. And slowly blink your eyes open. On your next inhale, reach both of your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the palms together and your hands down in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to your chest. One more. Take a deep inhale, reach both of your arms up. And on your next exhale, bring the right hand down next to your body and reach the left arm up and over towards the right. Keep your sit bones grounded, opening up through the left side of your body. And inhale, come back to your center. Exhale, switch sides. Reach the right arm all the way up and over towards the left. On your next inhale, come all the way back to center. Reach your arms up one more time. Inhale here and exhale, twist your upper body to the right. Bring your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind your back. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist, look over your right shoulder. In our practice today, we will focus a lot on twisting poses as they can help us a lot in stimulating our digestive system. And then take one more deep breath in your seated twist. And on your next inhale, reach your arms up and switch sides. Twisting to the left, look over your left shoulder. Every time you inhale, think about lengthening your spine and exhale, try to twist a little bit further. One more deep breath here. Then come back to center, reach your arms up and exhale, hands to your heart. Now we will transition into tabletop. Place your hands underneath the shoulders, press the mat away from you. And we will start to draw circles with the body, warming up the wrists here. And then switch direction of the circles. Make sure to keep your spine neutral, draw your navel in and up. And from here, turn your hands so your fingers are facing the side of the mat. And 
and just move gently from right to left as far as your wrists allow it. If you feel any sort of pain during your practice, know that you can always take a break and take a child's pose. And now turn your hands so your fingers are facing your feet and lean back as much as you can. Keeping your neck neutral and your face muscles are relaxed. And then come back to a neutral tabletop. On your next inhale, start to drop the belly down, lift through the chest, look up into your cow. And exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, open your heart forward and up. And exhale, round. You can do your cat and cow movement in your own pace. Feel free to close your eyes if you want to. And then take one more deep inhale and exhale. And then come back to a neutral tabletop. Keep your spine straight. Inhale here and exhale. Look over your left shoulder to the left foot. Inhale, center, and exhale, look over the right. Back to center, look over the left shoulder, and over the right. And now come back to center, tuck your toes under, and start to lift your hips up into your downward facing dog. Pressing the mat away from you, find length in your spine, relax your head and neck and start to walk out your dog by bending one knee at a time. Just releasing any tension in the back of your legs. And then take one deep breath in your downward facing dog. And now look forward and make small steps to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, fold down, grabbing the opposite elbows and allow your head and neck to become heavy. Maybe rocking from right to left, releasing any tension in your neck and shoulders. then release the arms, bend your knees and roll yourself all the way up towards standing. Your head is the last to come up. Inhale, reach your arms up, interlace the fingers and exhale, lean all the way towards the right side, come into your standing side bend. your next inhale come back to center and exhale lean to the left opening up the right side of our body and then come back to center release the arms for a moment spread your weight evenly across both feet and we'll take a deep inhale reach your arms up exhale fold down forward fold inhale halfway lift look up and exhale, step back into your high plank. And then bring the knees down to the ground and lower yourself all the way down. Baby Cobra on your inhale, lifting through your chest. And exhale, lower down. Press into the mat. And come back up into your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find length in your spine. Bend your knees here if you need to. And on your next inhale, look forward. Step or hop to the top. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise all the way up. 
and exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring your awareness to your breath here, to the present moment. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And on your next exhale, step the right leg back. Drop the right knee down and come into your low lunge. Inhale, lift up your upper body, take the arms with you. And exhale, allow the hips to sink down to the ground. Keep your hips in one straight line and keep your shoulders relaxed as well. And then bring the hands down to the mat. Step back into your high plank and either come on down onto your knees or take a full Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale. Taking one more deep breath. And then look forward and step the right leg in between your hands, drop the left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, drop the hips down towards the mat. Taking two long and deep breaths here. And then plant the palms down, lift the back leg and step forward, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up all the way towards standing. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And then inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step the left foot back, drop the knee down and lift your upper body up into your low lunge. Hold for one more breath. And now slide the right arm behind your back and reach the left arm all the way over towards the right. Really lengthen through your left fingertips. Now take one more deep inhale and exhale, bring the left hand down and extend the right arm up towards the sky, opening up through your chest and look towards your right hand. Beautiful. On your next inhale, come back to center, reach both of your arms up one more time, exhale, allow the hips to sink down. And then bring the hands down onto the mat, lift the back leg and step back into your high plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog on your inhale and downward facing dog on your exhale. look forward and step your left foot in between your hands drop the right knee down inhale reach your arms up and exhale allow the hips to sink down and from here slide your left arm behind your back and reach the right arm all the way up and over towards the left Finding your balance here. Don't forget to breathe. And now slowly bring the right hand down and reach the left arm all the way up. Very nice. We're going to take one more deep breath here. then slowly come back to center, reach your arms up and exhale lower down. And 
And now bring both hands down to the mat, lift the back leg. Step forward, halfway lift. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, rise all the way up towards standing. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. On your next inhale, come all the way down into your chair, Utkatasana. Lower the hips down even further. Keep your spine straight and then release into your forward fold. Inhale, half we lift. And exhale, step or hop back into your high plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale, opening up through your heart space. Exhale, downward facing dog. Creating length in your spine, relax your head and neck. And from here, lift your left leg all the way up towards the sky. Keep your hips and shoulders in one straight line. Take a deep inhale here. And on your next exhale, tap the left elbow with your left knee. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, tap the right and reach back up. Two more times. Tap the left elbow, engage your core, press the mat away from you, and tap the right. One more time, lift the leg up, and then bring the knee to your chest, hold for another deep breath, and then step your foot forward in between your hands. On your next inhale, lift your upper body up, rise your arms up. And exhale, find your high lunge. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale, cactus the arms, open your chest. Beautiful. And then inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. And now we're taking high lunge with a twist. So bring the right elbow to the left thigh, press into your hands as much as you can. And think about twisting from your belly button here. Gonna take one more deep breath in your twist. And then lower your gaze, step the right foot forward and find your twisted chair pose. Take one more deep breath. And then release the arms, come into your chair, lower the hips down a little bit further, and then come all the way up towards standing, bring your hands in front of your heart. Then inhale, bend your knees, lower your hips, come into your chair. Take one breath. And on your next exhale, release into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. And exhale, step or hop back into your high plank and lower down. Upward facing dog on your inhale, keep your thighs off the mat. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Press the mat away from you, spread your fingers nice and wide. And from here, lift your right leg all the way up. Opening up through your hip area. And take a deep inhale here to prepare. And exhale, tap the right elbow with your right knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tap the left. One more time each side. And tap the left elbow. Reach the right leg up one more time. And on your next exhale, bring your knee towards your chest. Hold it there. 
down and try to step your foot forward in between your hands. Find your center and then reach your arms up into your high lunge. Inhale deeply here and exhale cactus the arms, open the chest as much as you can, draw your shoulder blades together. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And you know what's coming. We are twisting to the right side. And really press into your hands as much as you can. And now take one more breath in your twisted high lunge. Now step your left foot forward, come into your twisted chair. And then reach your arms up into your Utkatasana one more time. And then come all the way up towards standing, release the arms down. And let's move on, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step the left foot back. And let's prepare for triangle pose, opening up your hips to the left side and either hold onto your right toe or just tap the mat with your fingertips and reach the left arm all the way up. Look to your left hand. And if this is too much for you, you can always hold onto your right shin. And now take one more deep breath in your Trikonasana. And then come all the way up into your reverse triangle. Reach your right arm up and back. And then come back to center. From here, rotate your left hip forward and the right hip back. So your hips are in one straight line. Inhale, extend your arms to the side and exhale, bring the left hand down next to your right foot and reach the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Keep your gaze down or towards your right hand, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And just breathe here. We have one more deep breath. And then slowly release, plant both hands down to the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold over your right leg, come into your pyramid posture. Keeping your hips square and just release any tension in the back of your legs. And from here, lift your upper body up, bend through the right knee, step forward. Lower the hips down and we have another chair pose. And come all the way up towards standing, really nice. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step the right foot back, open your hips to the right and find your triangle pose on the other side. Breathe deeply here, look down or towards your right hand. And on your next inhale, come all the way up, reverse your triangle, reach the left arm up and over to the back side of your mat. And lower the arm down, bring the right hip forward, the left hip back. Inhale, extend your arms to the side, keep your shoulders relaxed. And then bring the right hand down to the ground. Reach the left arm up and look to your left hand. Revolved Triangle Pulse.
take one more deep breath and then bring both hands down to the ground inhale lengthen and exhale fall down into your pyramid and now take one more deep breath and then slowly walk your hands back lift your upper body and step your right foot forward and we have the last chair pose of the day I promise hold it for one breath and then lower your hips all the way down to the mat with control come into an upright seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you hold into the back of your thighs and inhale here open your chest exhale round inhale open and exhale around and we have one more and on your next exhale roll yourself all the way down to the ground release your head back walk your feet in and extend your arms to the side inhale here and exhale allow your legs to fall to the right side keep your gaze up or towards the left hand just release any tension through your back and your spine and then come back up to center and allow the legs to fall to the left inhale back up and hug your knees into your chest and now let's prepare for happy baby pose you can either hold onto your toes or grab the outside of your feet open up through your hips feeling a nice stretch in your inner thighs and either find some stillness or you can also rock a little bit from right to left if that feels good for you and you can now stay in your happy baby pose or if you want to extend your legs adding an extra stretch inhale deeply and exhale allow yourself to go a little bit deeper now take one more deep breath here and exhale come back into your happy baby Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a well-deserved hug before we make our way into our final relaxation to Shavasana. For Shavasana you can extend your legs, drop your head back, release your arms next to your body with your palms facing up. And allow your entire body to become heavy Relax your feet, your legs, relax your belly, your chest, your arms, relax your head and face muscles and just keep your awareness on your breath and imagine with every new exhale you're sinking deeper and deeper into the mat releasing all the stress all the worries all the tension and just let it be
and very slowly bring your awareness back into your body. Start to move your toes and fingertips. Reach your arms overhead. Give your entire body a gentle stretch before you roll onto one side. Just stay here for one more moment. And now come all the way up into an easy cross-legged position. Rooting down through your sit bones, find length in your spine. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Two more like this. Inhale deeply, reach your arms up, invite new energy into your day and your body. Exhale, let it all go. And one last one, take a deep inhale. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. You can also place your hands directly onto your heart. Keep your eyes closed for a few more breaths. And just show gratitude towards yourself. Thank yourself for taking the time. And now I would love to thank you for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoy this practice and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. I hope to see you again very soon. Namaste.